Okay, in this video, we want to look at the GCE uh, alternative to practical 2021, and we want to concentrate on physics here. And I'm doing this video in general for all aspects of physics, as it is not a practical that we need to show ourselves one or two things on, on the various branches of physics. However, I will just use one of the branches of physics as an example. And generally, when you talk about alternative to practical, what it means is you do not need to, to perform this practical, but you would get your table and then plot your graphs. How is that easy and how possible is that? Once you're given uh, a diagram, just like the real practical, once you're given a diagram, you arrange the apparatus according to the diagram, then you perform the experiment according to the procedures so that you can get your readings. But this one is quite, I used to believe it's quite simple than the original practical because one, when you see the diagram, the procedures of which the experiment is being performed will be written there. Secondly, you will not have to rearrange any apparatus to form the diagram you're given. You are only meant to read a, another diagram which happens to be the, the diagram you get your readings from. Sorry if my words are complicated. This is what I try to explain. What I mean is when you see the diagram and the procedure of the question, you don't need to go through any series of practical to get your readings. There will be another diagram showing you your readings. Then it depends on your ability to read uh, instruments measuring instrument just like the mass and the uh, meter rule and so on so that ability enables you to quickly get your readings from the diagram i'm going to start an example with the magnus question here and we're going to look at the question and we're, go we're also going to talk about the reading how to take the reading from the diagram given to us so the first thing is you study the diagram which is the question the procedure in which the experiment is being performed, then you now go to the diagram given to you from which you're going to take your reading and you, you absolutely take your reading from it, make your table and then you plot your graphs. Okay, let's look at the question I'm talking about. In the next slide of the video now, you see the question, then we talk about the next slide where we see the readings and we'll be able to take our readings from the diagram and then talk about the graph plotting. and we've seen whatever it takes I mean what we're gonna do in that question but here we are not we are not performing the experiment so we already given a diagram where we take our readings from so which means the experiment has been performed and the record has been put in diagram for us to what to explore and then bring out the real values so actually you know the distance L talking about in that question is this so we are going to take our readings from here and we are, I already made my table, so this is my table, and I, which happens to be the numerical value of L1, L2, or whatsoever, that is the serial number. So, and then I have my help. So, how do I get my help? I measure each value here using my ruler. Actually, any one centimeter I measured here represents five centimeters in the real experiment. That is how it is. So, that is why we're given a scale that one centimeter represents five centimeters in figure A. So which means if I measure one centimeter on this diagram, it means it's five centimeter on the real experiment. So which means any value I measure here, I am going to multiply it by five to convert it to the real value. So after measuring from L1, from zero to L1, 
what I got, I multiplied by 5, and this is what I got. Then after multiplying by 5, I got 14.25. I think you can see that. I got 14.25 multiplying that. Okay? So now, the next one is, we measure the L2 right from 0 also. Then when we measured it up to L2, this is what we got. Then multiplying that by 5 to get the real value, we got this. So then the next is we measure L3, L4, L5 using our ruler. So which means the ruler is going to do the major work. And mind you, all the diagram will be drawn to scale. So you don't need to think of probably there will be error or whatsoever. All the diagrams will be given to you and they all will be drawn to scale. So now, which means after measuring all the values here, which is L, then this one is L converted, the converted value of L, which is the real value of L. Then I multiply that each value of L by 5 to get the L converted. So, and that is the real value of L. So, thereafter, I go for measuring my D. Then how do I measure my D? My D is, according to this diagram, if you study well, D, uh, clue about alternative to practical is how to pick out readings from diagram instead of instruments directly. That is just the secret. So let us pick reading out of this. So how do we take reading in such case? However, this is a likely question. So you might meet something different from these and then it depends on your ability and what you have learned from here, how to make use of it in determining the readings from diagrams. So what is going to happen here is that you take your reading using your ruler from 47, you measure from 47 to D1. After measuring from 47 to D1, whatever value you get, you are adding 47 to it. That is how the value for D is being derived. So after measuring from here to here, I got 1.10. So if I add 47 to that, I'm going to have 48.10. So that is my D1. Then I measure from 47 to D2. Whatever I get, I had 47 to it, and that gives me 49.90. Then I measure from 47 to D3. So after measuring that, I added 47 to it, and this is what I got. I got 51.65. Then also, we do the same for D4, D5, and D6 to complete our tables. However, all the basic rules in physics practical still applies. Which means if you are taking a direct reading, you leave your answer in two decimal places. And if you are evaluating anything, you leave that in three decimal places. And then your direct reading, or probably the, the given reading, should be in two decimal places, like I've said earlier. So, and then evaluations to be in three decimal places. However, we did not evaluate anything here. All these are readings, so they are being kept in what? In two decimal places. Okay, now this, is now, this is how we generate our table from diagrams. So this is a typical way of doing alternative to practical. The same thing implies in chemistry, you just, you can, i wait for a video that talks about chemistry alternative to practical, so then you see how it, it is done. So for this, we have taken a reading, and the same thing will happen in optics and electricity, or even heat. You will be given the question, then you will be given a diagram where you take your readings. It might be stopwatch, it might be whatsoever, it might be um, a thermometer. All you need to do is just learn how to read and take your readings or measure from the diagram and then convert if necessary, if you are told to convert. Simple. Then thereafter, we're meant to, according to the question, we're meant to plot the graph of D on the vertical axis and D is on the horizontal axis. Then we go ahead, we go ahead doing that to get our uh, answers. Then you plot the graph and you solve the question. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. Thank you.